preconceptions cast more shadow than light. See only what you're told to see, and you'll miss so much of me. Open the doorway, let it all rush in. Convention hides my depth and dimension. Alive and breathing. So save your stereotypes, standards, and tiny boxes. Hearts are being world is I am authentic, unapologetic, driven without doubt, unique on my own. It's in her blood. Unstoppable together. There's no space we can't occupy, no promise we can't fulfill. Watch madness! We seek redemption. We will not be underestimated. We have a legacy to honor. The streak lives! We will defend what is ours. And here, in plain sight, as my fullest self dreams laid bare, I am not scared to be seen. Just imagine. From monochrome to multidimensional, no longer defined by roles assigned. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's about winning basketball games. Projecting images of our design. Are the force of our own life. I'm just excited to be out there with my sisters and play another game. Watch us shine. No we're growing the game and we're taking it places together. Whatever you can imagine. It's all worth it. Welcome to the NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One. The Final Four is here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. South Carolina facing Louisville and later on tonight, Stanford against UConn. As we welcome you courtside, hey everybody, Ryan Rucco alongside the Hall of Famer, Rebecca Lobo, Holly Rowe, and Andrea Carter here as well. So happy to be with you for the Final Four in Minneapolis. Rebecca, South Carolina has been the top team in the nation all season long. So fitting, they also have the Player of the Year, Aaliyah Boston. Yeah, she has been the most dominant player on both ends of the floor all season long, averaging just under 17 points a game. An absolute handful for her defenders. You can send one, two, sometimes three people at her. It doesn't matter matter she's going to score she steps out she has range she is incredible on the offensive glass four offensive rebounds a game she handles it on the offensive end and on the defensive end as well her numbers just incredible and coming off 27 straight double doubles the fifth longest streak in a season all time for a little more on Aaliyah let's send things over to Holly well, all of those great accolades couldn't have happened for Aaliyah Boston without great sacrifice. She grew up on the tiny island of St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands and showed great promise as a youngster. But her coach at the time, Coach Bruley, said, if you really want to be great, you've got to get off the island. And so she did. At just 12 years old, she left for Massachusetts to live with her aunt. She said it was really hard being away from my family on birthdays and Christmas, missing my mom and dad, but it's all been worth it. Here she is tonight, the sacrifice of a family helping her dreams come true. Started on the tiny island of St. Thomas, but here she is on the world's biggest stage for women's basketball tonight. Uh, just a terrific story, Holly. Meanwhile, for the Louisville Cardinals, fourth Final Four in the last 15 seasons, their calling card is a disruptive defense, but of late, they have been getting scintillating offense from a sophomore, Haley Van Lith. Yeah, Haley Van Lith has been their engine on the offensive end, and she certainly plays with a lot more poise than you would expect from a sophomore, averaging 21 and a half points a game in this tournament. She is so good off the bounce, great mid-range. She can get in the paint as well and find her open teammates, plays with a swag or a moxie that you don't expect from a player her age. So important today if they expect to upset South Carolina. Van Lit four straight 20-point games in this tournament. The first Louisville Cardinal to ever do so. For a little more on Louisville, let's send things over to Drea. 
Thanks, Ryan. Well, you mentioned that disruptive defense of Louisville and the catalyst behind it, the energy behind it is Emily Inksler. And it's not just her activity on the ball, it's her instincts off the ball. She has great vision. And if you watch her, when she's down low, she'll create space between who she's guarding so she can use her quickness. She sees the denial, she sees the ball pressure and knows the pass is only going one way and she reads it perfectly. She does this so often, that length and that effort. And then when she's at the top, Emily Inksler has complete freedom. You might see her even lose the player behind her, but she is locked in on the ball handler and again makes the read, gives the effort, uses her length over and over again. South Carolina will need pass picks and poise with Emily Inksler on the other side. Well, she led the team in rebounding, steals, and blocks this season. Let's learn a little more about the Cardinals. It's time for Capital One Meet the Players. Here we go. Hi, my name is Kiana Smith, senior guard from Louisville. Got a mean vinyl collection back home, but let's meet my teammates. At starting forward, but not a starter on anyone's dance team, from Manhattan to the Ville, Emily Inksler. At shooting guard, our left-handed stone cold killer, putting Wenatchee on the map, Haley Van Litt. From Columbus, Georgia, knocked down but never knocked out, our beast, Olivia Cochran. In her first tournament appearance, playing in the final four, our point guard, Boca Raton's finest, Chelsea Hall. Well, Jeff Walls has been an incredible steward of this Louisville program. Fourth final four appearance over his 15 seasons at the helm of the Cardinals. And on the other side of things tonight, Dawn Staley. What an incredible head coach she has been for South Carolina. Her fourth Final Four appearance in the last seven seasons, seeking her second national championship at South Carolina. Time to learn a little more about her players. What's up, y'all? It's Zaya Cook, junior guard at the University of South Carolina, and let's meet my squad. First, we got Aaliyah Boston, Miss Double Double. Second, we got Bree Bill, Miss Big Body Benz. Third, we got Henny. Henny think it's possible, and she's super swaggy on and off the court. Lastly, we got V. She's super sweet, but on the court, she's a beast. We are almost ready for action in Minneapolis. South Carolina and Louisville. Someone's going to the national championship game tonight. Tip is next. The sun finally out after a couple of gloomy days in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and getting ready for the start of action in the first of two semifinals tonight at Target Center. It's Louisville, South Carolina later on tonight. It will be Stanford and UConn. Haley Van Lith has been the driving force behind the offense for this Louisville team. Her leadership uncanny at her age. Aaliyah Boston, the National Player of the Year. She has been absolutely dominant this entire season. Dawn Staley's team came within an Aaliyah Boston putback from going to the national championship game a season ago. She said there was incredible relief to be back at this stage this season, and now a chance to punch their ticket tonight. Saxton and Anxler will jump it up. And this game is underway as South Carolina wins the tip. So important for Louisville defensively to be disruptive. You see here they worked on this in practice right off the tip in their 1-2-2 two, two, looking to press and trap and see if they can cause some deflections. Here's Boston getting out to Henderson in the corner. It's Cook. She struggled shooting of late and throws it away here. Van Lip off the steal. Anxler goes cross court, extra movement, catch, fire, no from Hall, and a whistle underneath is going to go the other way against Olivia Cochran, and 
that is exactly what Louisville has to worry about. Aaliyah Boston putting early fouls on their bigs. Olivia Cochran picked up two early fouls in the last round against Michigan. She needs to be on the floor. She is their best matchup for Aaliyah Boston in this game. Liz Dixon is the other big off the bench for Louisville. Saxton bodies in and finishes. Really smart. Take it at the player who's just picked up one foul. See if you can get a second or get her to retreat a bit defensively. Victoria Saxton averaging over 11 rebounds per game in this tournament. Here's Van Lip looking to shake Beal. And she traveled as Louisville turns it over. As South Carolina moves the ball around the perimeter, the second Saxton gets it, she sees who's on her and says, all right, I'm going to take it right at you, big girl. Little pressure applied by Louisville. So outstanding forcing turnovers. They have forced an average of 21 per game in this NCAA tournament. In the corner, Cook. Cut Hicks on a three. That is a welcome sign for the Gamecocks. South Carolina, that last possession, terrific job advancing the ball with passes over the defense. Not a lot of dribbles. They worked on that extensively in practice yesterday and shoot around again today. Cook did not score in the Elite Eight. It shot at just 24% in the tournament. Anksler fires it up wildly, and the rebound taken by Boston. Good start here for South Carolina. In the corner, Cook. Not that time, and the weak side rebound. Anksler had it stripped away on the steal. Now Saxton loses it. It's still loose. Who's going to end up with it? It'll be a held ball, and the possession arrow belongs to Louisville. Zaya Cook has really struggled with her shot at times in this NCAA tournament. Great ball movement. She gets out to the corner. It's the big that is attacking her, although Jeff Walls told us today, he said it's not so bad for us if the guards for South Carolina hit a couple early three because if they keep taking them and don't get to the ball to Aaliyah Boston, that's to our benefit. Holly? Isaiah Cook had struggled in the tournament, just 6 of 22 from three before that shot. Don Staley told us today, I might pull her aside and remind her how good she is. Don't carry the struggles of the season into tonight. That's a good start for her. What a rejection from Bree Beal on the other end. Beal lays it in. A 7-0 beginning for South Carolina. One of the things that makes South Carolina so good and dominant defensively is their size. And that was an incredible size mismatch. You see it right here with Beal on Van Lith putting size on the scorer. Here is Kiana Smith looking for help. Cochran faces up and gets the roll on the jumper. She has the ability to do that. Face the basket and make to out to 15 feet. On the other end, Saxon couldn't finish it. Hall couldn't grab it, and it's going to be another chance here for South Carolina. Three Beal, just a great job blocking, and Aaliyah Boston head up, sending it out to her guard. Anytime a player blocks a shot, I believe in rewarding him on the other end. Cook, short, and Aaliyah Boston gobbles up the offensive rebound, goes to work, flipped it up wildly. Angsler controls it, the transfer from Syracuse. Jeff Walls calls the best defensive player in the country, couldn't finish the layup over Aaliyah Boston, who won the Naismith Defensive Player of the Year. A lot of good looks from Louisville yet on their offensive possessions. Here's Boston spinning on Cochran. That's too easy. Well, anytime Leah Boston gets a touch inside, it's going to be too easy. And when she gets a foot or two feet in the paint, forget about it. She is too big, strong, and powerful. Averaging nearly 17 points to go with more than 14 rebounds per game in this tournament. Here's Van Lith using the screen from Cochran. Tried to get it into her on the switch, and it's knocked out of bounds by Beal, who's been terrific defensively this season. Let's take a look at the target above the rim cam. I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, Aaliyah Boss, and a couple power dribbles inside. There's just nothing you can do about that. Smith baseline jumper way off the mark. And South Carolina pushing with Henderson. 
In the corner, Cook. No, Boston an offensive rebound. Cochran never turned, and an easy finish for Aaliyah Boston. Louisville needs a timeout. And Jeff Wall saying to Olivia Cochran, you just need to put your arms up. An 11-2 start for South Carolina. Aaliyah Boston is simply the most dominant big in the game right now. You can't do anything with her. She's near it. She's going to get the O board. If she's near it, she's going to score it. Ball's inbounded to Cameron Brink. Brink is trapped, loses it. Boston has it. Squeezes it to Beal. Two seconds left. Well, it was tears for Aaliyah Boston and South Carolina falling just short to Stanford in the semifinal a season ago. You see the last three seasons, they were ranked number one in the tournament canceled. Last year, they lose by one in the national semifinals. This season, ranked number one the entire season. Dawn Staley said she feels like the basketball goddesses have to repay her group this season. Tara Vanderveer, Stanford team, the defending national champions. In the crowd scouting this game, they will take on UConn. Second contest tonight as Smith can't hit the three. Offensive rebound, Cochran, let's check in with Howard. Jeff Wells called that timeout. You thought maybe he'd kind of rip his team, but he didn't. He said to everybody, listen, air ball, missed shot, air ball. We're getting the looks we want. Everybody just calm down, take a deep breath. He wanted them to relax in this big moment. It'll be important and helpful for them if they can get out and transition, get something easy, get to the free throw line, just see the ball go through the hoop, helps your confidence. And that's gonna be a foul on Saxton, going over the back of Cochran. So first personal on Victoria Saxton. And we will step aside, be right back. Under five minutes to go in the first quarter, South Carolina has an 11-2 lead. First of two semifinals tonight in Minneapolis. South Carolina, an early 11-2 lead in this semifinal matchup against Louisville. Let's check in with Andrea Carter. Thanks, Ryan. Well, we're seeing so far in this first quarter what makes South Carolina so difficult, defense and rebounding. And on this play, Aaliyah Boston switches out onto Haley Van Lith, but her size makes that post feed extremely difficult, trying to get the ball to Olivia Cochran. And then rebounding, you see Olivia Cochran pushing back, but the effort, her hands are down. She has to try and get her hands up. The effort that it takes to rebound against South Carolina and score against South Carolina is showing. I mean, there are a myriad of incredible stats, including these ones early with Boston already out rebounding Louisville as a team 5-4 that illustrate just how dominant of a rebounding and defensive team South Carolina is. But Rebecca, one of the most astonishing numbers is South Carolina rebounds on 46% of their missed shots. Almost half the time they miss, they're just going to go get it anyway. It's like a pass. It's, it's incredible. Shot clock inside of 10. Here's Paul trying to make something happen. Going baseline. Finds Anxler. Three to shoot. Leaning jumper won't go. Anxler follows it up and floats it in. She's a magnet. She just goes and gets the basketball. Emily Anxler. Letitia Me here in for South Carolina. Couldn't finish the layup. Van Lift the strong rebound. Louisville trying to push. Van Lift gorgeous feed. And Anxler blew the finish. Emily Anxler would normally come down with that ball, but because South Carolina is a great shot blocking team, she tried to get it up before they could get a hand on it. Anxler one for five in the early going. Louisville is two for 11. Here is Cook looking to turn the corner and banks it in. Zaya Cook is really good when she is handling, going to her strong right hand, getting in the painted area. South Carolina has held 45 straight opponents under their scoring average. That dates back to last season. Hanksler giving it up. Here's Conkrin guarded by Boston. Cochran fading away, couldn't get it to softly roll home, and that's going to stay right here. Foul 
against a me here. Hey, fans, don't forget to check out the Bird and Tarasi show presented by AT&T 5G over on ESPNU featuring WNBA legend Sue Bird and Diana Taurasi, as well as special guests throughout Final Four weekend. On Sunday, the show will air live at 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. Got a lot of different options tonight. Second Spectrum, On the Rail, Beyond the Rim, and you can hang with us here, too. <laughs> if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Casa Robinson in now for Louisville. She just brings a different level of toughness. Another block by Beal. Beal will pull it out. Free haul into the game for South Carolina, along with Camilla Cardoso. Off the bench, joining Boston, Henderson, and Beal. Henderson too strong. Anxler pushing. Van Lift had nothing there, had to pull it back out. Bree Beal has been incredible defensively early in this game, and a mid-range jumper for Smith. He's had a really nice tournament thus far. South Carolina has been terrific, number one, with their transition defense. They're getting back early, not allowing any easy looks. And then when they can set up, we've seen what they've been able to do. It's going to be about hitting a lot of those mid-range jump shots for Louisville, because you've got to stay away from those shot-blocking bigs. 13-6, South Carolina the lead. Here's Henderson. Bodies it up and in through traffic. Destiny Henderson able to flip it home. Great job keeping her eyes on the rim. Smith looking for help on the exterior. Van Lift switched on Boston. Van Lift draws two, finds Cochran for the finish and the foul as Henderson caught her. That was outstanding defense by Aaliyah Boston, but even better offense by Haley Van Lith. A great switch out. Van Lith is able to get around her and deliver. Not a lot of bigs can do this. Stay with a little, and then Cardoso comes over, and that leaves Cochran open. How many easy looks has Louisville gotten today? That might be the only one. That might be the only one. Cochran has struggled from the line in this NCAA tournament, as you see, just 5 for 13 on the season. She shot it at 69%. She misses the free throw there, but an offensive rebound, Van Liff. Van Liff goes cross court. Angsler putting it on the deck, gets to the reverse and lays it in. It's a four point possession for Louisville. And now Robinson nearly steals it, pokes it away, and the Cardinals starting to feel a little energy. Picasso Robinson is the kind of player who can change the pace, change the energy. And she does it on the defensive end of the floor. With Robinson reaching the Final Four this season, every four-year player under Jeff Walls has played in a Final Four during his tenure at Louisville. Promised her he, she'd get to one when he recruited her in her living room, and here she is. Beal dumps it, Boston right back out. Anderson will fire, too strong. Gang rebound, it's going to stay here and a foul against who? It's going to go against Kiana Smith. And that will be Smith's first personal. South Carolina has their really big lineup in now with 6'5 Boston, 6'7 Cam Camilla Cardoso. Well, I don't see any foul there. No, she just got smushed. That's a no call. Boston will check out. Steal a moment or two of rest. Lily Brissett into the game for South Carolina. Here's Henderson giving it up. Beal on a three. No. Rebound. Anxler. And here comes Robinson. Last four in the paint for Louisville. It has been 12-0 in the paint in favor of South Carolina as Smith lost the dribble and the possession arrow belongs to the Gamecocks. I mentioned Alina Boston going out. Dawn Staley said she likes to buy her a few minutes of rest around the end of quarters. That's what we see here. You have two terrific defensive teams, Rebecca, but are you also seeing some nerves manifesting in this first quarter? I think early you saw more nerves from Louisville than South Carolina. That's probably the experience factor being here in the Final Four. 15-10, South Carolina lead. Here's Cardoso. A good friend of Anxler's, a transfer from Syracuse. On the drive, Anxler! 
Wexler comes up with a rejection. Here comes Smith in transition. Kicking out, Van Lith traveled. And Louisville turns it over, Van Lith knew it. Emily Engsler is just pure energy. She is pure energy and she's always in pursuit defensively. She is unreal as a help side defender. Her head is always turning. She's always looking, figuring out when she can be disruptive. Her timing is terrific. Number six in our WNBA mock draft on the ACC all defensive team. Love her prospects as a pro. Shot clock is turned off here. Destiny Littleton into the game for South Carolina. Cardoso finds Grissett. Grissett lays it in. Still time for Louisville if they hurry. Here comes Robinson. Robinson gives it up. Van Liff going to have to put it up. Instead turns it over. Third turnover of the quarter for the sophomore Haley Van Liff. And it's South Carolina leading by seven after one. When we come back, Holly Rowe will chat with Louisville head coach Jeff Walls. That's next from Minneapolis. Back to Minneapolis here with the Louisville coach Jeff Walls. And coach, you were just talking to your team about stuff they've got to change and fix right now. What is it? Well, no, we just had had a little breakdown here at the end. It, it's a five-point game. You know, we got we got it was shell shock, the excitement. You're in the final four. We had more air balls in, in about three shots than we have all year. So that's part of it, but I thought we got our composure back. We've got to continue to try to do a good job of boxing out and rebounding. And then we've got to figure out a way to get to the free throw line. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Let's check in with Drea. Well, Ryan, that defensive breakdown that Coach Walls is talking about is that last South Carolina bucket. And if you watch, both of the defenders go in the same direction. So here, two defenders lean to the side. Lily Grissett reads it perfectly, slides right in between them. That's called a slip. You slip the screen. When you see your defender jump, you cut to the basket. Nice job by South Carolina and by Lily Grissett reading the defense. No one in between you and the basket. You go right there and finish. And on a cut like that, communication is so important. When we were at shoot around today and practice yesterday, nobody for Louisville defensively communicated and talked more than Haley Van Lith. The problem is, it was an empty arena. Easy to hear today. It's a lot louder. It might be a little bit more difficult to communicate. Let's take a look at our first quarter stats. They're brought to you by Geico. Aaliyah Boston, four points, five rebounds. The National Player of the Year. Emily Anksler and Cochran with four apiece. Neither team shot it particularly well. Louisville held to 31%. Jeff Walls telling us earlier he feels good if they could score 70, but said not many people score 70 against South Carolina. On pace for 40 after one quarter. Dixon into the game for Louisville. Here's Anksler putting it on the deck, rumbling in and gets fouled by Cardoso. Jeff Wall says he wants to get to the free throw line. How do you get to the free throw line? Off of dribble penetration, attacking inside. First foul on Cardoso. You see 74% from the line in the tournament for Anksler, and this is the first. Well, Emily Anksler is a completely different player than when she started her career at Syracuse. She said her freshman year, she got in and she got too heavy. She said, I just couldn't move. I couldn't stay on the floor well enough. But COVID stay home period actually helped her. She went back to Roosevelt Island with her mom and her sister, Danielle, who got her cooking, learning how to use seasoning, stop eating out. And she dropped all that weight. She said, I could run for days now. Real transformation. Saxton gets free and reverses it home. A 19-10 South Carolina lead. And that transformation from Anksler, part of the reason why she's projected as a top six WNBA pick. So much of her game is on instinct and quickness. Feet quickness and hand quickness. And she only got quicker when she was able to shed some of that weight. Smith. Bounces back and floats it in, being guarded by the freshman Sanaya Rivers, the number three recruit in the country this season. South Carolina, top recruiting class in the nation. Loose ball here. Henderson comes up with it. Cook again in the corner. No. And Anksler the rebound, and that's going to be a foul on Saxton. And that will be Saxton second. So now Aaliyah Boston going to jump right back in there. And Dawn Staley not happy. 
However, South Carolina not only has great size in the post, they have great depth in the post. So Cardoso in Boston with that size, joined by Cook Henderson and the freshman Sanaya Rivers. Don Staley loves the vision of Rivers, who can really break down a defense and kick. Smith with the left hand, no. Cochran on the foul, lost her footing. Another chance here for Louisville. Van Lick has had a tough time early. Cochran, bodies in, and finishes. I felt like Olivia Cochran, after she picked up that first foul, was a little tentative. And a lot of that is because so much of her game is aggress aggressiveness and physicality. Now she's settled into a point where she can play that way again and not worry so much about that second foul. Five-point game, two minutes into the second quarter of the semifinal. Stanford and UConn later on tonight on ESPN. In the corner, Rivers off the side of the backboard. Van Lip veering in transition, bouncing, extra finishing. Six straight from the Cardinals. It's a time of the game where you want to leave Boston to get a touch. Louisville on a bit of a run. Get your All-American National Player of the Year a touch. Inside Cardoso. Flips it up off the top of the backboard, and it's going to be Louisville basketball. You see Cochran, the patient, she faces up, assesses. I got a 6-7 on me, but I'm going to take it at her because Coach Walls wants me to get it to the free throw line. How about trim down Emily Engsler running the floor and finishing on the break? Cardoso checks out. A meteor in for South Carolina. More size. They have so much of it. Smith surveying. Has the switch on Boston. Will fire. No. Offensive rebound. Exler reverses it in. Eight straight for Louisville. It's a one-point game. Exler comes up with a steal. Here's Axler to the rim. You wonder if at some point South Carolina needs a timeout. I'm almost surprised Don Staley isn't calling one here. Settle her team down. Make sure that Aaliyah Boston gets a touch in the quarter court. Louisville with 10 0 run. It's first lead of the game. Here's Cook picking her way. Now throwing it away. Axler got it over to Smith. Another South Carolina turnover. Remember, Louisville has forced 21 turnovers per game in the tournament. Smith leaning, no, got it back, flips it in. A 12-0 Louisville run. Settle down, find a way to get Aaliyah Boston a touch inside. Boston working hard against Cochran. South Carolina's gone three plus minutes without scoring. Here is Boston, double, cuts through it, and finishes. That's why you feed her. That's why you give her the ball. Patience, poise, read the double team perfectly. Cochran fades away, doesn't get the roll. Nice box out there from Henderson. Isn't it fun watching the little guards box out? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Holly Rowe and I at shoot around, you know? <laughs> Cook. Gets it into the arms of Boston. Henderson in the corner. Cuttings on a three. We saw Henderson hit big three after big three in the semifinal against Stanford last season. And I like that that shot came on a pass from Boston after a possession where Boston reestablished herself inside. Anxler stops. Doesn't get the finish. Boston has the rebound and a foul is called against Anxler. That will be her first. Emily Engsler coming out of the game here. She is, has so much to do with Louisville's toughness and energy on the defensive end. Can they keep it up without her on the floor? She has seven rebounds in this game already. And credit to Dawn Staley in South Carolina. It looked like there were multiple times to use a timeout. She trusted her team with steady things. They have. After a 12-0 run, they've scored five straight. Anderson flips it off. 
Hits the floor, and Van Lith able to collect it. Here's Smith finding some space. That's a pretty move for Kiana Smith. She needs to continue to be aggressive going to her mid-range pull-up jumper. Eight points in this first half for Smith, tied at 24. In this semifinal matchup. And a whistle is going to stay here. Foul against Louisville. After a big deficit, Louisville has tied up the game on the back of Emily Angsler as she keeps her defender on her back. The hustle plays. Getting out in transition, she leads all scorers with 10. Let's take a look at our thrilling drives from tonight's game, brought to you by Nissan. Emily Engsler has been absolutely terrific for Louisville here in the first half. Helped her team settle in, brings so much energy on the defensive end of the floor. Brings energy getting to the offensive glass, has two steals already in this game. Here's one of them. Man, she's just simply a difference maker. Well, the two steals give her 21 for the tournament. Only Tisha Penichero has more in NCAA tournament history. Holly? Well, Coach Walls calls her the most disruptive player in America, and you're, not, you're seeing it right now. She is all over the place. She gets some of that toughness from growing up playing in the Catholic Youth Organization against the boys through 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, was on a boys team. She said, I carry little pieces of those New York guys in my soul. You can see the toughness and grit of that New York basketball background. A whistle here underneath is going to go against Louisville with Angsler getting a little rest here after picking up her first foul. Verholst has come in and picked up two quick ones. That's three team fouls against Louisville. South Carolina yet to shoot a free throw in this game. Louisville yet to make one. They're 0 for 3 from the line. Extended run for Sonia Rivers. Great look. Beal got free and Boston found her. Yeah, Elliot Boston's a terrific passer, in particular from the high post area. Miscommunication by Louisville. Easy two. Inside of four minutes to go in this first half. South Carolina, a two-point lead. They led by as many as nine. A Louisville 12-0 run gave the Cardinals a three three-point lead. Verholz, maybe a little quick, couldn't hit it. And a me here comes up with a rebound. South Carolina has struggled outside the paint. They've done damage in it. Here's Boston, trying to get back to it. Out of the double, had it knocked away. On the ground, nice job by Ami here, able to get it over to Beal for the finish. What a heads up play from Leticia Ami here. You see all the attention that Aaliyah Boston is going to get inside. The teammates just have to figure out how to play off of it. Deal call for the personal. That'll be the third foul on South Carolina in this quarter and the first personal on Bree Beal. Extra attention coming to Aaliyah Boston and Ami here has got it. How do I get it to my teammate? What do they call that? Megging inside? Yeah, they do. That's right. I think you took off a word, Holly. Well, you see the experience of Ami here. She actually played for Team Canada in the Olympics in Tokyo and then again in the FINA World Cup. She is an experienced player with that senior national team and you saw it right there. Tonight, Rivers comes up with a steal. The freshman able to finish. South Carolina with six straight to take a six-point lead. It's an extended 11-2 run for South Carolina in response to the 12-0 Louisville run. Here's Van Lith, yet to score in this first half. She had four straight 20-point games to begin the tournament. Angsler back in. Cochran trying to find some space. Flips it up and in. That's a big-time move from Olivia Cochran fired up. A talented sophomore, Jeff Walls, just glows about her footwork. Olivia Cochran says it comes from the multiple sports she played growing up, including being a goalie in soccer. Cross court, Rivers. Pull up jumper, no. Rebound Van Lith. Inside of two minutes to go in his first half. Van Lith around the screen from Cochran. Van Lith, what footwork and the finish. 
First points of the game for Haley Van Lift. Van Lift's going to have to be crafty because she is giving up size to every defender who is on her or switches onto her that time. A great, great job using that against them. Oh, the big to big passing. And now will the foul be on Smith or Anxler? This is a big call for Louisville. Either way, it's going to be a second on somebody. Haley Van Lift, only 5'7. Bree Beal, 6'1. Sticks with her. So what do you do? Especially when you go against a team that, or a player that likes to block shots, you head fake them, they will jump, they will go for it. They are eager to get that block. Coming up in the Degree Halftime Report, L. Duncan, Carolyn Peck, Nikki Fargus have an outstanding look at Stanford star Haley Jones coming home. There are outstanding women ready to go at the half. Good fun hanging with them throughout this week. Boston at the free throw line in this tournament, over 70%. That foul, by the way, on Keanu Smith for second. First free throws of the game for South Carolina, and Boston sinks them both. Watching the full array of what Aaliyah Boston can do. The scoring, the rebounding, the passing, the intimidating. Everything she does on the defensive end, the touch from the line. Van Lift guarded closely by Beal, who's blocked her shot twice. Van Lift couldn't pizza buy it in. And Boston able to control it with one hand. That's her 7 4. Four point South Carolina lead inside of a minute to go in this first half. Here's Rivers. A me here, ball fake. Had it taken by Anxler. Another chance. Anxler fighting, and it's out of bounds off of Anxler. And it's going to be South Carolina basketball. UConn is in the building. Gino Oriema here for his 22nd Final Four. The UConn Stanford coming up next. Anxler steals the inbound, and a 10 second difference. Game and shot clock here at the end of the second quarter. Louisville ball. Cochran lobs it. Anxler had a good look, just threw it off the bottom of the rim. Here's Henderson, gonna pull it back out. Shot clock is turned off. Anxler 5 for 11 now from the floor, is 10 points and 7 rebounds. Boston muscles in, surrounded by three. Finds her teammate Beal for the finish, and a fitting ending to the first half. Unselfish play from Aaliyah Boston. And Bree Beal cashing in. It's a six-point South Carolina lead at the half. Aaliyah Boston with four assists to go with her eight points and eight rebounds. She uses her power and determination going up against three, gets it back, says, uh-uh, I learned. What a great look for her teammate, Bree Beal. Boston doing a little bit of everything, trying to punch South Carolina's ticket to the semifinal, and she is with Holly. Louisville went on a long stretch where they were scoring really well. You guys showed some great composure. How did you get back into this game? Just because we know basketball is a game of runs, and they went on theirs, and we just knew that we need to come back and go on ours. You guys have showed good defensive presence on Haley Van Lift, their leading scorer. What's the plan there that's working? We're just going to be consistent. Pressure is something that we work on every single day, and we're not going to change. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Leah Boston, a tremendous first half. South Carolina, a six-point lead over Louisville at the half. It's a tight one in Minneapolis. Time to get things over to L. Duncan, Carolyn Peck, and Nikki Fargus in studio for halftime. Welcome back to the NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One. Getting ready for the start of the third quarter of this semifinal. South Carolina, a 34-28 lead on Louisville as we welcome you back courtside. Ryan Rucco alongside the Hall of Famer Rebecca Lobo. Andrea Carter with us as well. We'll hear from Holly Rowe 
in just a bit. South Carolina ending that half on a 15-6 run, and Aaliyah Boston, the player of the year, she had her fingerprints all over the first half. Good things happen for South Carolina's offense when Aaliyah Boston gets a touch, in particular inside. She's a scoring force. Eight points in that first half, did it efficiently. Three of four from the floor, got to the offensive glass as well. She is an absolute terror in the paint, but Drea, it's not just about her scoring. It's not about just her scoring or just her rebounding. She's been facilitating as well, Rebecca, leading the team with four assists at the half. It's the patience and the poise. Look, she's getting triple team. She has the vision to find Brie Beal on the opposite side and then the skill set to get her the basketball so she can finish. Great job by Boston so far in that first half by finding her teammates as well. Eight points, eight rebounds for Boston to go with those four assists. And Anxler, 10.7 rebounds and three steals leading the way for Louisville. South Carolina finishing up its huddle, being asked to come out on the floor. Louisville is ready to go. Rebecca, how about anything Louisville can do for Haley Van Lith to get her offensive game going? Just two points in that first half. Yeah, I'm interested to see what kind of screening action or switches maybe Jeff Walls finds favorable so she can get a different defender on her because she has struggled any time a bigger South Carolina defender has been on her. Immediate trap of Cook. Saxton back in there, had sat for a while after picking up her second foul in the second quarter. Here's Boston, very comfortable operating. Henderson will give it up. Cook, a lot of space, knocks down her second three of the game. Oftentimes, Louisville can steal a possession at the beginning of the second half by trapping and being disruptive. South Carolina handled it beautifully. South Carolina has now matched its largest lead. It's nine, a chance to grow here. Cook off the steal, lays it up and it's an 11 point Gamecock cushion. And that was the one defender for Louisville who couldn't do anything about the breakaway. Kiana Smith has two fouls, didn't want to pick up third. Going back to the end of that second quarter, it's a 9-0 run from South Carolina. Here's Cochran. Nothing has been easy on this end for Louisville. Haley Van Lith. One on one with Boston, fading away. Got the roll. It's going to be about making tough shots for her. She has the bigger Brie Beal on her. Then what happened on the switch? The much bigger Aaliyah Boston <laughs> is on her. Haley Van Lith, all ACC first team, was the number seven prospect in the country last year. Starred at Kashmir in Washington. Saxton dishes out. How about Anderson? She got it. What a Don Staley tell us. South Carolina's guards need to outperform Louisville's guards. That's what's happening so far in this game. The first thing Don Staley said, our guards have to be better than their guards. 12 point South Carolina lead. Anxler flips it up and too strong. Boston another rebound. That's her ninth. Deflected by Hall, Boston gets back to it. Saxton will take, and a foul's called against Anxler. That will be her second. I think in this game, South Carolina's guards have had great poise. Defensive energy, yes, and Cook here gets the steal and the score the other way. But they have been making the right decisions offensively here early. A couple open looks. Henderson and Cook both have drained threes. Taking a look at the guard comparison, and it has been all South Carolina, which was Dawn Staley's key. Talking things through with Zaya Cook. As Saxton hits the first free throw. If you look at South Carolina's shooting percentage right now, Rebecca, they are shooting 51% as a team. They had struggled mightily from the floor. First three games of the tournament, then came out against Creighton, had their best field goal percentage since February 24th in their Elite Eight win and have continued it here tonight against Louisville. What's so impressive is that Louisville plays tough defense and it's often tough to make your shots go down in the first few minutes of the Final Four. And South Carolina's done a great job being efficient. Nice find, Van Lith to Cochran for two. Olivia Cochran now with 10 points on five of seven shooting. 
Boston deep seal, left it short, got it back, got fouled, and is it Anxler or Cochran? It is Anxler, and that is going to be her third. Don't forget the WNBA draft is upon us, and 88 women's college basketball players have filed for inclusion as candidates join Rebecca, Drea, Holly as they break down the new wave of players looking to make their dream a reality. The WNBA draft presented by State Farm, April 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. So Anxler picking up her third. Rebecca, she's such a critical player for Jeff Walls. How do you play this right here? Well, it's going to be tough because so much of what she does is predicated on energy and quickness and going for steals, all the kinds of things that lend themselves to you picking up another foul, but he needs her on the floor. Boston's 29th double-double this season, 59th of her career. Angsler, that's why she needs to be on the floor. She just needs to be really smart of when she is going to kind of take those chances on the defensive end here. And the two fouls she's gotten in this third, little taps on the wrist. Hall comes up with a steal, turns it into two. That's how Louisville needs to get its offense going, off of turnovers. The best way to score against a shot blocking team is to put it in the bucket before they're there. <laughs> Ten point game. UConn Stanford follows this one right here on ESPN. Saxton, given some space, putting it on the deck. Cochran just let her go, and Saxton took the bucket. Cochran almost played that as if she's in foul trouble, but she has not picked up a second since that early first. And Leah Boston was able to clear out the lane with a much smaller Van Lith stuck on her. Oh, Hall just lost the handle. Henderson takes it away. Cook wanted in the corner. Henderson going to set things up. Henderson connects on a three. Her decision making on that possession was extraordinary. She could have taken a shot much earlier, chose not to, ended up with the ball in her hands anyway. Largest lead of the game for South Carolina. It is 15. They're 5 of 12 from 3. Another Louisville turnover. Dangerous time for the Cardinals. Beal lobs it too tall, and Hall comes over the steal. Here is Smith. Pull-up jumper. Doesn't roll in. Cochran follows it up. Can't get it to go. Boston's presence defensively a difference. South Carolina has shot it well from three. Jeff Walls was content to give South Carolina upwards of 20 attempts from downtown in this game. He said, look, if they hit them, we're going to be in trouble. So far, they've hit them, and Louisville's in trouble. Here's Hall. She can't hit. Rebound, Anxler, put back, is good. And a timeout taken by Jeff Walls. 13 points, South Carolina lead. We've seen great decision making by Destiny Henderson in this game, knowing when to take the shot. Here, pass, cut through a little bit before that was open, could have taken it, uh-uh. Trust the offense, trust her teammates. That's how you do it. The NCAA Men's Basketball Championship Final Four begins Saturday at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific on TBS. For more information on game times, go to NCAA.com. Paige Beckers getting ready for UConn. Tara Vandeveer, the winningest coach in women's basketball history, getting ready for Stanford. And how about this? All three in action this weekend in the Final Four. Coach K, his final games, the all-time winningest coach in Division I history, and then Tara Vanderveer, Gina Oriema, right after Coach K. Holly? Jeff Wells in the last timeout for Louisville told his team, hey, we lost our composure there for a second. He wants everybody to slow down and take it one possession at a time. He said we've got to get back to taking care of the basketball, rebounding, and picking up the pace offensively. Our tempo, our cuts, not quick enough right now. Nine turnovers in the game for Louisville. South Carolina three for three from three in this quarter. Saxton too strong, rebound. Smith has it for Louisville. Pushing pace. Smith trying to find an angle, is able to finish. 
getting the rebound out of their zone. And we've seen in this game Louisville switch up between 1-2-2 zone and their man-to-man -man trapping inside on Boston. Henderson into Boston. Easy finish for Aaliyah Boston. 12 points, 11 rebounds for the player of the year. And another good decision by Destiny Henderson, who has been hitting from that left corner, but realizes I got to go into my big on this one. 15 assists now for South Carolina, just four in this game for Louisville. And that's going to be a foul against Saxton. It will be her third. We'll step aside. South Carolina, 13 point lead. Looking to get to the national championship game after falling one point short a season ago. They're having a big third quarter in Minnesota. Let's check out our game track brought to you by Adidas, the National Player of the Year, Leah Boston. 12 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists. Emily Anxler playing with 3 fouls now is 14 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 steals. And South Carolina shot at just 2 for 9 from 3 in the first half. But they are 3 for 3 here in the second and have a 13-point lead. John Staley, if our, our, if our guards outplay their guards, and the South Carolina guards have been absolutely terrific so far in this game. Destiny Henderson with 11 points, 4 assists. Zaya Cook has 10. Henderson 3 for 5 from deep. Cook 2 for 5. Here's Van Lith into the lane, kicking out. Anxler trying to find an angle, rejected, but foul. Foul called against Ami here. And free throws for Emily Anxler. Haley Van Lith had been having difficulty getting into the paint and that time Louisville slips the screen. She gets inside, knows she can't get the shot up, but is enough to draw the defense and pass the ball out to Anxler. Anxler hits the first. That is the first made free throw of the game for Louisville. They had been 0 for 3 from the line. As Jeff Wall say to Holly at the end of the first quarter, we need to find ways to get to the free throw line. Anxler hits them both. 11-point game. Boston, nice hands to catch it. It was on her hip. Good pressure here. Boselli was yelling at Destiny Henderson because she did not want her to pass the ball to Aaliyah Boston there. But overall, South Carolina has done an outstanding job against the Louisville pressure. They have 15 assists on their 21 made shots, shooting it at 52.5%. Beal, the patience, couldn't finish it. Boston and a foul is going to go against Cochran. That'll be her second. And free throws for Aaliyah Boston after another offensive rebound from the player of the year. You know, Rebecca, we were talking with Dawn Staley about Aaliyah Boston the other day and asking her what, what stood out when recruiting Aaliyah. And she said, well, first of all, her AAU team didn't get her the ball enough. She said, but secondly, she never stopped moving even when she got tired. And she said, I've never seen anyone that big keep pushing even when they're tired, Holly. Well, there's good reason. She grew up playing on the island against all the boys. You know, she would play outside on outdoor courts. And I actually went down there and was on the court with her where it's windy, it's uneven, there's heat. She's playing outside in the sun. And most of her career was spent playing out of doors until she got to Massachusetts. So her endurance, her stamina, and her strength after growing up playing against bigger, stronger guys, I think is at an all-time high based on her unique upbringing. Yeah, it, it's incredible. And she, she just has the most wonderful, gregarious personality as well, uh, a true star. It's always impressive when a post player continues to work hard even when they're not getting the ball, especially when they're in high school. What would Gino say about you in that regard? <laughs> yeah. Henderson <Exemplary>. <laughs> air mails it and Boston knocked it out of bounds. So a chance here for Louisville. Down 15 moments ago, they've cut it to 10 and have the basketball. Louisville only with four assists on the game, and that's a credit to South Carolina's defense. So much of their scoring has come when they've gotten the ball, gone one-on-one. -on -one. Kiana Smith has been the main player for that. Smith able to wrap it up, just could not finish on the attack. Real opportunity there for Kiana Smith and Louisville. Boston now with 13 points, 13 rebounds. Anxler nearly got to it. Amir throws it away. Turnover South Carolina. They're ninth. 
I don't know if that'll go down as a steal for Emily Enxler, but she's 100% the reason Louisville got the ball back. Jeff Walls talked about her sort of randomness defensively and said he's not seen a player like her in that regard since Angel McCautry, the Louisville great, who I saw in the building tonight. Yeah, she's here. I believe she was joining Sue and Dee on uh, their cast. I believe so. That's available on ESPN app. As Smith hits the jumper, Kiana Smith again in the mid-range. And the difference, she's got more size than Van Lith, so when Boston switched out, Smith could still get her shot off. It's an eight-point game. By the way, Angel joining the GOATs in the fourth quarter. On ESPN, you in the app. South Carolina leading by eight. Nice push here from Louisville at the end of the third. Cook lost it. Anxler has it. Two on one with Robinson. Anxler wild. Van Lip in traffic trying to get away. Could not. The Cardinals have the possession arrow. And it'll be a Louisville basketball. And there's a look from the target above the rim cam, Kiana Smith. Kiana Smith gets the switch. Aaliyah Boston comes out, and unlike Haley Van Lith here, the retreat dribble, just a little more size, lets her get that shot off without getting blocked. Cochran gets rejected by Boston. Didn't even break a sweat on that one. Aaliyah Boston here just guarding off the bounce, still able to dribble. Barely the stare down. Her teammates said sometimes she gives a little stare down. Smith draws two. Here's Robinson. Mikasa Robinson bounces away. Nearly threw it away. Eight to shoot. Smith might have to create again. She'll fire. Can't hit. Cochran the offensive rebound. Van Lift goes cross court. Robinson's pull up. In! good it's a six-point game shot clock turned off how about Louisville a plus nine and second chance points Jeff Walls telling us he wanted to hold South Carolina to 12 13 or under one at 13 to 15 from his group Henderson no rebound Boston she got fouled put it in and a chance for three on a critical fourth foul against Emily Engsler, and that could be game-changing. Talking about Aaliyah Boston, never stops working. She pursues the basketball as well as anyone, and just a little hesitation, Engsler leaves the floor. Huge foul. Four on Engsler, and instead of it being a six-point game at the end of three, it could perhaps be as large as nine. That is a massive swing play in this game. Boston with 15 points, 14 rebounds. It's the free throw. Aaliyah Boston has been terrific from the line. Six for seven now as she'll get a blow. And a great substitution by Dawn Staley. Let's her set up her defense. Anxler zings it down the floor. Cochran can't catch it. And it's going to be South Carolina basketball. It was touched by Cochran, so the inbound's going to come down all the way to the defensive end for South Carolina. 4.2 left. And Anxler's going to check out with those four fouls. Verholst in Jeff for Louisville. Ball. Jeff Walls just left Anxler in so she could make that pass. Yeah. And just a little too much slider action on it. Otherwise, a pretty good attempt there. Cochran had a lot of space. Do you call baseball games oh, yeah, slider you know, action? That's right. Just a little bit. Running away from the right-handed batter. Here's Sanaya Rivers. Rivers gets it off. That'll do it for the third. South Carolina, a nine-point lead after three. Dawn Staley with Holly Rowe coming up next fourth quarter action. Here's a look at the WBCA Coaches Trophy presented by Invesco QQQ, which will be awarded 
to the national championship winning coach. Will it end up being Dawn Staley? Well, Dawn caught up with Holly at the end of the third. Well, Coach, it feels like death, taxes, and Aaliyah Boston. Just what, how does she give you what you need when you need it? I mean, she, she's just like Emily on the other end, relentless. Relentless rebounder, relentless competitor. Um, I mean, it's a dog fight. It's, it's, it's for a national championship appearance. Um, good luck. Good luck. Good luck to us. Good luck to them. Good luck to the fans that's enjoying what will be an exciting fourth quarter. They went on a big run in the first half. You didn't call timeout. You trusted your team in that moment. Why do they have your trust in the second half? I mean, it's an experienced group. I, I, I knew why we were down. We were turning the ball over. We gave them, you know, we gave them second chance uh, opportunities. Once we get that straightened up, you know, we can continue to play. We, we, gotta, we got more depth than they do, so we're going to utilize that. We're going to try to tire them out so maybe their shots aren't falling. And maybe uh, Emily Inkster is not able to have the energy that she has going to the offensive class. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Alex. Well, Dawn Staley's guards have been terrific tonight, Drea. Absolutely, Ryan. I've been really impressed by the poise and the decision-making of South Carolina guards to go along with the relentlessness of Aaliyah Boston that Coach was talking about. If you watch Destiny Henderson clear all the way down the baseline and the quick ball movement gives her a smooth three-point jumper, and then instead of taking the jumper, she puts the ball right where it needs to be. The shot fake and one dribble sets it up for a perfect feed to Boston. Excellent play so far from Destiny Henderson. 11 points in the game. And Zaya Cook with 10. Both have shot efficiently from three South Carolina nine-point lead Rebecca Jeff Wall starting this fourth quarter has Emily Anxler on the bench been his best player tonight but four fouls how long would you go with Anxler on the bench here I think you go two or three minutes unless South Carolina goes on a run that you need to stem Holly Guys, they're going to go with the freshman here, Peyton Verhulst. They want to run her off some ball screen action and see if she can't hit a couple of shots for them right now. All right, we'll see if she can. Thank you, Hal. Start of the fourth quarter. A trip to the national championship game is on the line. Here's Saniya Rivers, the freshman, swooping through. Threw it up wildly, but guess what? Aaliyah Boston is there for the follow. And the lead right back to double digits. And after Louisville had cut it to six, Looked like they were going to have a stop at the end of the fourth quarter instead of Boston offensive rebound and putback. That was the fourth foul on Anxler. And also made it a nine-point deficit after three for the Cardinals. You have Aaliyah Boston on the floor. A missed shot is like an assist. Van Lint pedaling through traffic. Got it to Cochran. Couldn't finish it. Nothing has come easy for Haley Van Lint tonight. Just four points. Three assists for the sophomore star who's been terrific in this tournament. Rivers back out to Boston. Five to shoot. Boston throws it away. And now Anxler comes in. Oh, I think he nailed that partner. Said a couple minutes. I'll give you credit. It's a minute and 20 seconds. And She's an emotional player, too, and so, all right, she picked up her file, let her sit down, let her watch for a minute and 20 seconds, and then get her back in. See if she can play with the same sort of energy and activity with four fouls as Louisville turns it over here. Louisville has had quite a few unforced turnovers tonight. 11 overall, South Carolina with 11 turnovers as well. Henderson out there with Rivers, Boston, Saxton, and Beal. Boston dishes out. Five to shoot. Rivers with three to shoot. Will pull. Can't hit. Long rebound, Smith. Smith pushing for Louisville. Smith been the only Cardinal who can really create her own shot tonight. Cochran gets fouled by Beal. And that will be number two on Bree Beal. Free throws here for Olivia Cochran. Bree Beal is known as a defender, and she's been terrific today. She has locked down Haley Van Lift when she has been on her. She just gave Smith a handful at this end of the floor. Steady defensive presence. Louisville just two for five from the line. South Carolina 
Eight for nine as Cochran hits that one. It was a little shocking that Bree Beal was not a part of the all-defensive team. In the SEC this season, Rebecca, I mean, she is a terrific defender. Outstanding. I mean, we've, saw it, we've seen it here tonight, and her size and her strength and her motor on that end of the floor. You can tell she that's where she kind of finds her identity, takes her pride in that. Full court pressure applied by Louisville. Rivers nearly lost the handle. Angsler got a hand on it. And South Carolina gets it across. Nine-point game. Here's Rivers. Boston given a lot of space. Stripped. Beal has it. Beal gets whacked by Cochran. And Bree Beal is going to shoot too. And it's still to come. Cameron Brink and Stanford, the defending national champions, going to take on UConn. Ryan, one of the hardest things as a player is when a camera is right in your face and you're pretending <laughs> it's not there with your teammates. That's just what was going on there. You don't think camera can sell that? <laughs> it's not like a little GoPro. That thing is giant sitting right there staring up at you. Cameron Brink, the terrific sophomore. The defensive player of the year in the Pac-12. Beal hits both free throws. South Carolina has been great at the line tonight. An 11-point lead. Angsler on the attack. The shovel. Cochran. Great footwork and the finish. She's been impressive. The young freshman um, sophomore has been impressive. 14 for Cochran. 6 of 11 from the floor. Here's Saxton. Giving it up. South Carolina very content to run clock. Boston. Off on a three, and the rebound Van Lier. An opportunity here for Louisville. Down nine. Van Lier into the paint. Can't get the roll. Van Lier, two for six now from the floor. Rivers finds the wide open Beal. Bree Beal with 12 points. Bree Beal was wide open because Vixaria Saxton ran the floor, went to the left side block. Defender had to go with her. She'll get nothing in the stat sheet, but she was the reason for those two. Wow, great footwork there from Anxler able to finish. What does Dawn Staley say about Victoria Saxton? High performance, low maintenance. Yes. I like to think everybody who's a part of this booth is the same way. <laughs> you are. Nine-point game under six to go. Boston out of the double. Rivers will fire. Can't hit. Anxler the rebound. Another chance for Louisville to try and creep a little closer. Sanaya Rivers, one of 27 on the season from three. Anxler in and out on a three. And Boston has her 18th rebound to go with 18 points. And a timeout taken by Dawn Staley. They'll have three remaining. Nine-point game. Boston putting on a show, trying to send her team to the national championship game. Aaliyah Boston, the player of the year in the nation, and she has made her impact in so many different ways tonight, trying to drive her team to the national championship game after falling one point short a season ago. Her put back at the buzzer, just missing in a game against Stanford in which she was five of 14 from the floor at 16 rebounds and 11 points tonight. 18 points, 18 rebounds, six of nine from the floor and four assists for Aaliyah Boston. A 63-54 South Carolina lead with 5.30 to go in this fourth quarter. These next few minutes are going to be important for Louisville to get some stops and to score some twos. You cannot have a big deficit late on a night when you are not able to even get three-point attempts off against the South Carolina D. Yeah, just 0 for 4. Last time they did not make a 3, 2017. Boston draws the dig from Hall. Here's Rivers, who's 0 for 3 from 3 in this game, and 1 for 30 on the season. Anderson harassed by Hall. Did she get it off? She did, but it's an air ball and a shot clock violation. The NCAA Women's Championship is presented by Capital One.
What's in your wallet? And Louisville make a push here. Oh, Hall, silly turnover, and Anxler's going to foul out. That is number five on Emily Anxler. And Jeff Wall's very upset with Chelsea Hall on what was a very poor pass. And Emily Anxler's going to go to the bench. Her collegiate career officially is done. This is a kid who plays with all her heart and all her soul, and she has given everything here tonight. Done, of course, if Louisville does not come back to beat South Carolina, so she will hope for a comeback and a chance in the national championship game. A reminder that officials are human beings. When Dee Kantner called that foul, she hung her head. Because she didn't want to foul the kid out. Nope. But she knew she had to call it because it was the right call. Dee Kantner, Pulani Spurlock, Kevin Pethel have done a nice job tonight, this officiating crew. And Anxler, obviously emotional. She has been just incredible this season, a driving force behind Louisville's success. And Anxler picks up that fifth foul after a careless turnover from Chelsea Hall, who has struggled mightily tonight. The foul on the, on the floor is under review for a possible upgrade. So they're going to take a look at this foul that was just called against Louisville and see whether or not there's anything extra here or if it's just a common foul, Rebecca. Saxton throws her head back. Vorhals was, looked like she was trying to get around her. Is she, she's not clamping her arm. I think that's just a common foul, Ryan. Yeah. Saxton lands hard, but Vorhals is just trying to fight around and play defense. Jeff Walls seems a bit bewildered at it even being reviewed. See Haley Van Lift gathering her team and saying, we can do this, let's go. One thing that's amazing, Rebecca, if you would have said, hey, you're gonna get two points out of Chelsea Hall, four points out of Haley Van Lift, and you won't have hit a three. After review, we were staying with the personal foul called on the floor, no upgrade. I think you probably would have expected South Carolina to be up about 30. Instead, it is still just a nine-point game with 4.50 to go in this fourth quarter. Anxler just a spectator after fouling out. If Louisville doesn't come back, her collegiate career will be over. She is declared for the WNBA draft. Boston too strong. Hall the rebound. Kiana Smith pull up three. Won't go. Deal the board. You just get the feeling, Rebecca, that if Louisville is going to come back, they're going to have to hit a three or two. And the only time they've gotten decent looks has been in their secondary or transition. Beal bouncing away, Boston deep position, and the touch. A 20-point semifinal for the player of the year, Leah Boston. 11 points, South Carolina lead. Van Lift, pull up jumper, too strong. Rebound, Beal. South Carolina on the brink. I'm fascinated with Saniya Rivers being on the floor for South Carolina. She's only played five minutes in the entire NCAA tournament coming into this game. It's such a luxury to have a big where you know just if she posts up, whether she has one or multiple defenders on her, she's going to go get you a bucket. Cochran coming up with a steal. Trying to flag it down. Paul throws it away. Another turnover from Chelsea Hall. An 11-point 
South Carolina lead, and Leah Boston has 18 of their 32 rebounds tonight. Boston will fire. You pick! And Leah Boston is ready to punch her ticket. Van Lith floats it up and in. Shifty move from Haley Van Lith, and Jeff Wallace is going to take a timeout. Louisville will have just one remaining. Under three minutes to go. South Carolina's lead is 12. And what can't Aaliyah Boston do? Miss tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 6'5", this has become a part of her game since a season ago. Can step out, face up, hit the three. That's your player of the year right there. Louisville down 12, could be their final game of the season, but for Haley Van Lith, Emily Angsler, and this Louisville team, this journey under Jeff Walls means so much more than wins and losses. He was just somebody who took me under his arms, didn't really care who I was or where I was coming from at a mental level, and um, I really appreciate him. Um, he's had to teach me to enjoy life um, outside of basketball, and, um, yeah, I mean, he just... <laughs> You see and hear the emotion from the players. Jeff Walls in his 15th season at Louisville, 27 years overall, coaching college women and has had an incredible impact on so many women's lives. It's what you want from your coach, right? To make you a better player, make you a better person. And you can tell he has done that from the way his players respond to him and the way they talk about him. One of the men in this game who's had a incredible impact on women. Jeff Wall's team facing a 12-point deficit here with two minutes and 50 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Emily Angsler is fouled out. Beal able to keep her feet in bounds on the catch. Pressure applied by Louisville. Here's Henderson. Van Lift got smushed by a Boston screen. Eight to shoot. Henderson letting it wind. Henderson's jumper is short. Saxton trying to save it. She does. An offensive rebound for South Carolina, and they can run more clock. Boston. Ball fake. Drive. Lost it. And a foul. Wow. That's going to be a jump ball called. A held ball and Louisville ball that certainly looked like it could have been a foul on Boston. But it will be Louisville basketball. First of all, an incredible save by Saxton to tip that ball before her foot came down, getting them the extra look. Getting to waste more time? Yeah. So here we are. Louisville's got to go quick, and I think they got to start looking at the three ball. And remember, if you're thinking, oh, how about the foul game? Well, South Carolina is 10 for 11 from the line tonight. Boston out. South Carolina now going to their full court pressure. Make, make Louisville take time off the clock even to get it in the front court. Yeah, taking a lot of time here. Robinson gets it to Smith. Smith turns it over. Saxton there. South Carolina firmly in control. Rivers across the timeline. And a foul given by Van Lith. A me here will go to the line. South Carolina, the bonus still to come tonight. In Minneapolis, the local kid, Paige Beckers, coming off her epic second half and double overtime performance against NC State. UConn Stanford is up next on ESPN. Ryan, it was just such a great decision by Don Staley. Sub out Aaliyah Boston put the full court pressure on, because right now it's about the clock, right? Yeah. That forces Louisville to take time off the clock and they get the turnover. Well, Dawn Staley talking about her junior class, of which here and Boston are a part of, as well as Zaya Cook, Bree Beal. She still calls them the freshman class and feels like they've been robbed, said, 
Oh, number one team in the nation. 2020, don't have a tournament because of COVID. Then last year, lose by one point. So the basketball goddesses, it's time for them to reward that freshman class. Van Lith off the mark, long rebound. Hall, looked like Van Lith might have gotten hit on the arm. Hall loses it, it last hit the leg of Cochran. And it's gonna be South Carolina basketball, a 13 point lead with under 90 seconds to go. Remember last year, it was Stanford who ended South Carolina's season in the semifinal and that dramatic finish. Stanford could be who they play in the national championship game as the Cardinal get ready to take on UConn next. Let's take a look at our Capital One rewarding performance. I bet you can guess who it features. Who is it, Ryan? Yeah, her. It's the National Player of the Year, one That's of the right. most dominant posts in the country, the most dominant on both ends of the floor. And she's not just about scoring. She's not just about rebounding, although she does that so well. She will find open teammates. She will defend and block shots. She owns the paint on offense and on D. 23 points, 18 rebounds, four assists. Big night for Aaliyah Boston, Holly. Well, at the top of the show, I told you, you know, she had to make sacrifices, leave St. Thomas and go to Massachusetts. But what I didn't tell you is that her mom, Cleone, organized all of that, got her kids enrolled in school, organized it with her sister to live with them, and never told dad. He thought they were going away to a basketball camp. They never came home. That's a long basketball camp. Yeah. <laughs> It must have been a heck of a conversation afterwards. <laughs> but it has certainly paid off for Aaliyah Boston. Another turnover from Louisville. A me here galloping in, and that's going to be a block on Cochran. Free throws for a me here. You get to this point in the game, you start to think about some of the seniors on the trailing team. The Jeff Walls will have to say goodbye to Emily Anxler, Chelsea Hall, who have been such impact transfers, Kiana Smith in her second season after transferring from Cal. All coming to the end of the road here. Coming to the end of the road for Louisville, and it feels like in this game, Dawn Staley has been coaching not just to win this one, but to get ready for the next one. Zaya Cook hasn't played in the fourth quarter. She played pretty well. I think that's more about getting Saniya Rivers, those minutes that she didn't get previously in the tournament, because you're probably going to need her to win a national championship. Smith flips it up and off. Rebound South Carolina. 15-point game, pressure from Louisville. Grissett throws it away. Here's Cochran. And that's going to be a block. Just the second foul against South Carolina, so side out of bounds here. The result no longer in doubt. Dawn Staley's team is going to play for its second national championship on Sunday night. Van Lith lets it fly and hits from three. The first three of the game for Louisville. Jeff Walls told us we're going to need to make shots if we're going to win this game against a tough South Carolina team. And that is the first triple of the night for his group as Cochran checks out, gets a big hug from Jeff Walls, a sophomore still with plenty of work to do in her collegiate career. Louisville had more field goal attempts, more second chance points. This game for South Carolina on the offensive end. One from the three point line and right here from the free throw line. Those were the biggest differences between the two teams. South Carolina 11 of 16 from the line. Louisville four of seven. Six threes for South Carolina, just one for Louisville. And 19 assists for the Gamecocks, just five for the Cardinals. Van Lith will hoist 
can't hit. And a foul called against South Carolina and Bree Hall. So the clock stops with 22 seconds to go. And another side out of bounds for Louisville. Leah Boston, we all remember those insta-tears after her putback missed last season against Stanford. She has been on a mission in her junior campaign. 23 points, 18 rebounds tonight. Four assists as well. Louisville is going to back off. South Carolina can dribble this out. The South Carolina Gamecocks are one win away from title number two. They are headed to the national championship game on Sunday night. Seventy-two, fifty-nine. the final. As South Carolina takes care of Louisville. South Carolina have a dominant defensively all season long and they coupled that with terrific offense here today. Of course, they're bigs inside. But their guards were a terrific compliment. Good decisions all game long. And Aaliyah Boston, if you make a bad one, she hope you make up for it. Boston, 23 points, 18 rebounds. Big contributions from Bree Beal, Destiny Henderson, and Zaya Cook, who's shooting an offense, has taken plenty of examination throughout this season. They showed up in a massive way in this semifinal. A huge contingent of South Carolina fans here in Minneapolis. And they will watch their team play for a national championship on Sunday night. Aaliyah Boston is with Holly Rowe. Well, tears coming down your face right now. Such different tears than this time last year. How were you able to rewrite your story in this semifinal? I mean, this is a hump coach always talks about. If you can't get over the hump, you're going to be tested over and over again. And I'm really proud of this team because we were tested again this year. And there's a different outcome in the final, in the final four of 2022. So I'm just really excited. You were a monster on the glass. How did you dominate so? The coach emphasized that rebounding is going to be the difference in this game, especially the fourth quarter, because Emily Angsler, I mean, she crashed the boards really well, and so I just tried to make sure that I was doing the same thing. All that this team has been through, a canceled championship, COVID last year, the ending, how do you describe the feeling of playing for a national championship? You see happy tears. Happy tears right now to the Final Four, and I'm just thanking God because we have one more game, Holly, and we're not going home. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the National Player of the Year with an absolutely terrific performance tonight. 23 points, 18 rebounds. South Carolina will play Sunday night, 8 Eastern on ESPN, going for their second national championship. And who will they play? Will it be Stanford or will it be UConn? They will meet coming up in 30 minutes here on ESPN. But until then, it's time to check in with L. Duncan, Carolyn Peck, and Nikki Fargus, they'll wrap this one up and set the stage for our second semifinal here in Minneapolis. South Carolina wins it 72-59 to over Louisville. Take it away, Al.